Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today is a rather special day in Germany because it's December 31st and it's uh, the beginning of the 48 hour period where in Germany you are allowed to fire uh, firecrackers and start rockets uh, just because to celebrate the new year. <laughs> and this gives us opportunity to do some bangs outside without disturbing the neighbors too much. It's all about Germany's most dangerous lung trainer that I've presented to you a while ago. As you see, you can fit real heavy arrows over it. And I've even posted a tut tutorial how to make it. It has this removable mouthpiece Oops, <laughs> that just happens to unveil a threading that fits into a German uh, unregulated blank firing gun. And therefore you could potentially use this to fire these arrows with a lot of force from a blank. While this is really made for training your lungs and it's not dangerous because even the Hulk could not really shoot it very far. <sighs> yeah, as you see, so you, you really have to have strong lungs to throw this at a dangerous speed, you know. But of course, you can do this all day long without disturbing anyone. Not so if you use a blank gun. This is one of these blank guns. It's a Zoraki 906. It costs around 100 euros, it's not expensive, very small. Magazine holds six rounds, nine millimeter blanks. And it has otherwise all the features of a modern day gun. So these are the blanks that the gun fires, nine millimeter uh, PAK caliber. And actually they are almost identical to a nine millimeter Luger. I think you can even fire those from a nine millimeter Luger, although I'm not sure if it would, if it would repeat, but you have to probably single load it. There's different makers. I found that the silver one, uh, probably aluminum uh, with the UMA stamp, are more powerful than this one with the Geco stamp. It is indeed very simple to mount this on it, although I'm not recommending that you do this. Actually, this is a lung trainer. I'm, I'm only showing you this for the sake of science, what happens when you do. So you can simply mount this on instead of the little starter tube that you use for signal rockets. And now this is only legal because you can't shoot anything through the barrel since it's blocked with nails here and here. So you can't shoot anything through it. But the arrow actually glides over it and this means that legally it is not a weapon but a toy in Germany. So I've made a few arrows for it. <laughs> Let me show you its features. This is one of these arrows. As you see the tip is removable and you can actually install any kind of hunting or field tip from archery, very simple, standardized. You can of course also sharpen these here, although I found that um, they actually punch nice holes to anything solid. <laughs> they're hollow, they're made from aluminum tubes, 1.5 millimeter wall thickness, uh, 15 millimeter outside diameter, so they have a 12 millimeter inside diameter, and they fit perfectly well over the lung trainer of course and as you see I attach a little o-ring so it doesn't fall out accidentally so this is the target it's actually 10 meters away from where i'm going to be shooting and as you see i used it with the pellet gun from the other side already this is a two millimeter aluminum plate and uh, seven and a half joule pellet pellets from uh, unregulated air rifles cannot penetrate and i put some backstops here which I tested and I know that these arrows cannot penetrate. So even because I have no idea if it's going to shoot high or low or whatever, this is not going to go through it. Seems like I got some bugs in my woodshed. Okay, 10 meters distance. I have no idea how accurate these are. So maybe I won't even be hitting the target and I don't know if I have to shoot high or low or whatever. Let's try. Okay, seems like it's shooting a bit low. Let's load one more arrow. The next uh, blank is already loaded, of course. I'll shoot a little higher this time. Okay, that hit with authority, I think. That was another really good hit. And you see how much it kicks? It seems like it kicks more than a 9mm. <laughs> it has the same momentum though. Another one went a little low. Oh, 
Okay, seems like we're down to our last round. Yeah, empty. And as you see, it's dirty, but absolutely intact. Nothing happened. So, seems like all six of them are on. These two almost touched each other. And as you see, if, it, if you shoot it into the archery mat without the metal, then the veins will be damaged probably. This one probably had the most power. See, it went all the way through and bye-bye veins. I have to re-glue them. Well, wow. And of course, as you see, the blunt tips really punched like really big holes into the sheet metal. Wow. That would have been a lethal blow, I believe. So this is the one that penetrated the most. And as you see, it was the one that was sharpened. So it does make a difference. But of course, it's a lot of work to sharpen one of these. All right, I know everybody now wants to know how far they really fly. Well, we have, a, have about a 40 meters distance here to my shed wall, which is gonna be my target. <laughs> and we're gonna shoot a shot or two at it. Okay, that went definitely went too low. Okay. Okay, next try. Too low as well. Now we only, we're down to those that only have two veins left. Let's see if they still fly okay. All right, that did hit the target. <laughs> One more. Yeah, if you aim high enough, they actually do fly that far. Flight stability is really good. As you see, these are the two that flew low. And as you can clearly see, both of them hit with the tip. And also both of them survived the impact. Just need a little bit of sharpening or another tip. And here are the two babies that actually only had two veins. This one is now is down to one. And as you see, they stuck really, really deep into the wood. With amazing power at that distance. It's, I mean, this is a 52 gram projectile. And it survived. Okay, now, since we destroyed some of the tips, let's find out what happens when we shoot one into the target without any tip on it. <laughs> and also, of course, we take a more typical self-defense distance, like, I don't know, three meters maybe. Shall we? Seems like it did not make too much of a difference. <laughs> it went in, punched a nice round hole through it anyway. So the lung trainer, if you want to know how to make one, I leave the link to the uh, video with the full tutorial and Amazon shopping list and eBay shopping list down there. Uh, I don't encourage you at all to put this onto a gas pistol. Even though this one is weakened, but still it held on just fine. Uh, seems like I'm in luck, but that isn't automatic. So keep in mind, I'm kind of a professional stuntman and I actually undergo risks that you should not undergo. Therefore, if you make one of these, make sure that you only use it as a lung trainer and never ever mount it to a blank gun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this because that's it for this year. Thanks and... <laughs>